the, the father and the two son are very important. And uh, both, both, the father and the two son. And uh, we know that uh, when we talk about this place, uh, David me before uh, we took our first group, in the time it was a war zone, so it was nobody here in the north. Everybody left the north and went to Tel Aviv because missiles were flying. And uh, we came here because Kabbalistically, this is the place that they in charge of the north. This is all the north. So we came here to ask for permission. The bus was waiting here. And we asked for permission that we're gonna go and approach the north, even if it's very, very dangerous. So we stop here, we pray, and we say, we're coming to the north, please save us and help us. And then we go into the bus and we went into all kinds of dangerous places. Rabbi Shimon was empty, everybody ran away. The whole homes were empty, nobody was there alone. Just the army and tank and all kind of thing. So this place is very unique for us. Second story, my children, when they were young, it used to be a gate, you're gonna see it in the other side, where you light candles, so my children used to be, open the gate, go inside, they say, we don't wanna come out. Coincidentally, that's his two children, okay, of uh, Abba Khalafta who bury here. Who he was, I mean, you can read about him in Google, there's so many stories, but the main thing, Rabbi Akiva, as I told you yesterday, at 24,000 students, they all died. Five stay alive. One of them is the one we've been with, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Rabbi Mir Balanes is yesterday. Uh, Abba Khalafta is also one of them, Rabbi Yudha Bar Ilai. And so we are in uh, one of those people, just to let you know, that was able to keep love when it was no love. Because it's very difficult when you become spiritual still to love people. You know, because people think spirituality is to love people. No. When you start understanding spirituality in a perfect way, very difficult to keep the ego down because you know, you know a lot of things. Try to imagine that you know the souls of people, you know what they're doing, what they don't do, everything to the details. Very difficult not to judge, very difficult to stay spiritually normal. So we are in a place of love, we're in a place of unconditional love. And no matter what they saw, and they could see everything, they were Tanaim, they could walk on water, they could fly. Remember, Tanaim lived 2,000 years ago. Amoraim lived, lived after. They are the one who wrote the Mishnah. They are the one who wrote the Zohar. So we are talking about Tanaim. Everybody who lived 2,000 years ago could perform a miracle. It was a time of everybody could make a miracle. So those people, whenever I say a Tana, a grave of a Tana, as you can see, it's a Tana. See? Tziyuna Tana, Rabbi Chalafta. See? So every time you see the word Tana, you know it's more than either 2,000 years ago or more than 2,000 years ago. And that's mean those people, it's beyond our understanding what they could do. So here we ask for help again to see the good in one another. If you have people that you cannot see the good in them, that will help you with that. We're gonna light the candle.